so I'm through the fur now, but there's like another like layer of skinny stuff. So this is, I want you to get a, a screenshot or a picture of the fact that it's a vertical cut there. So what I want you to see now is the part where I'm gonna, well, let's see the bladder, you can't see it. Okay, so you see that right there? All right, another picture. That right there, yeah. So you wanna get a picture right there? That's the bladder do is you see this fat on the side? I'm just going to pull this. And then there's the testy right there. It comes out with the fat. Alright, so you get the picture of that? So there's a couple of veins here that I need to cut. Um, the first one is right here, so I can usually just rip this. And then this other one is a little bit trickier because you want to make sure you stay, you want to keep as much of this cording as possible, so I usually break it down here. And then um, I'm going to do the other side too, so don't worry. Um, so this is all fat out here. The part I want to keep, do you see this little head here? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I keep that. So I'm going to just start kind of pulling the fat away. This is kaput, right? Um, the head part is the kaput, you are correct, because kaput means head. I'm going to put it in a separate block this time. Does that sound good? All right, yeah. and then you see right here, so you get another picture right there. That's where I want it. So this is the epididymis, and that's the last cut I need to make is right there. And that's probably the hardest cut to make. It's really, that's like very ligamenty. All right, I busted that one when I was taking it off, I think. It's okay. So these are the molds. Um, let me get a oh, marker here. Thanks. That whole thing is the testy? That's the testy right here. Yeah. And then this is the epididymis. Okay. What is this? This is an OCT. Um, so I'm just putting a little bit in the bottom. And what does it do? Um, it allows the sample to freeze at like the perfect temperature. Okay. Um, it stands for optimal cutting temperature. So when you cut the um, the the block, uh -huh. this makes it so that it's the right temperature. And now I'm just going to put some more OCT on top. I don't have to fill it up all the way. I just have to cover it generously. And so you saw I put a little bit on the bottom, but not a ton. There's a couple little bubbles, but they're close to the top, so I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. And then I'm just going to put these both on dryers. So you not have to, like, close them up or anything? No. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Um, when I'm, so I'm going to leave them on there for like a half hour. And then when they're done, I'm going to put them in um, the freezer. So okay. now I'm going to go after the other side. Okay. So um, this side I kind of cut jagged there. But again, there's the bladder. And here's that fat pad that I'm going to pull. Uh-huh. And there's the testy. Oh, wow. Perfect. Comes right out. And now I'm going to start just kind of getting that fat out of the way. There's my junk again. Oh. I'm gonna start pulling into the fat. You can see the kaput right there, the mm -hmm. top. And this is just a styrofoam, uh, the the box from like the, you know the um, falcon tubes come in. Touching now is a kaput. Um, there's a little bit of fat between the testy and the kaput. So the kaput's right there. Yeah. I'm trying to get this fat in between here. Um, probably need to break this right here. That's that really hard part to break. There you go. Okay, so there's my testy. And then here's the epididymis. I'm trying to figure out where the okay. So that's the kaput right there. Okay. And this is the cotta down here. And I'm getting rid of this fat here. And when you do this, it's nice to keep it around the edges because it'll keep it from um, forming bubbles. Okay. So that's why I was kind of going around the outside. And that's it. These ones are already starting to freeze. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I'll leave them on here for a little while. And then when I'm done, I'm going to put them in minus 80. Um, and um, then we'll take them over to histology whenever we go over there. That's it.